Okay, so our first problem on the screen that's not showing up because that was frozen. There we go. Our first problem is negative 2x plus 4 plus 6x equals 12. What do you notice about the terms that are in this equation? Jeremy? There's like terms there. This and this are like terms because they have x's. And this and this are like terms because they're just numbers. These two are on the opposite side of the equal sign from each other. So I can't do anything with them at first. But I can take those x terms and combine them. Now, I don't usually do this because I've been doing this for a long time, but you can move the terms around to get things together that go together. So I could rewrite this as negative 2x plus 6x plus 4 equals 12. All I did is I traded these two places so that I could get my like terms next to each other. If you're a visual person like I am, you could also throw parentheses on just to show I know these go together. You don't have to, but you can. What is negative two and positive six? Everybody. Four. Four. This negative two and positive six are with an x, so this becomes four x. Plus four, we haven't touched this four, so we're just bringing it down, equals 12. Same with the equal sign of the 12. Elaine? Oh, okay, got it. Now I've combined like terms, we can go back to what we were doing on Friday. Next thing I want to do is inverse relations, right? I want to get a zero here. So I'm going to do what to that four? Subtract it. If I do it to the left side of the equation, I have to do it to the? 4x equals 8. Now I want to get that 4 by its gone because it's with the x and I want the x by itself. What am I going to do? I'm going to divide by 4, which is the same as multiplying by 1 over 4. going to divide by 4 on both sides. 4 over 4, 1, equals 2. Thoughts or questions? I saw some teams get there and some were like still debating what they could put together and what they couldn't. Did that help clarify for the teams who were debating? Okay. Let's look at the other problem which was even more like terms. Negative 2x plus 4 plus 6x equals 12 minus 8x. This is our first equation that we've seen this year where we've got x's on the left side of the equation and an x on the right side of the equation. This and this and this are all like terms. We've got two of them on the left of the equation, one on the right, but before we're done, they gotta get together. The first thing we wanna do is combine these like terms like we did in the other equation. All I did is combine the six x and the negative two x, since we just did that in the last equation and not being really detailed with it. And then I want to zero out this 4, or I could zero out the 12, but basically I need to get the like terms together, and right now they're separated by the equal sign, we're moving them. We're going to combine them. I like to do the 4 because it's smaller. 4x equals 8 minus 8x. I have to do 
opposites again. I need to get another zero here before I'm done. Because right now this X on this side and this X on this side, they've got to come together. Which one should we move? I heard an eight. We're gonna move this eight X. And I want you to look at why. If I move the four, we would have a zero over here. If I took this and said minus 4x, minus 4x, we would have 0 equals 8 minus 4x. Would that help us solve this problem? Because then we'd have to get something back on the other side. We need to get to a place where we can divide and get that x by itself. What's going on with this 8x? What kind of an 8x is it? What does it have in front of it? Everyone. And what's the opposite of it? Mm -hmm. So when we're trying to move things from one side of the equation to the other, when we're adding or subtracting, we're trying to get a zero. Am I going to get a zero here? I'm just going to cross it out to show it worked. 4 plus 8x is 12x equals 8. You may have gotten stuck here because you were expecting a whole number, but the answer to this problem is not a whole number. Now I just have to divide the 12. Twelve over twelve is one. I have the x by itself equals eight over twelve which can be reduced to, I heard it, how do you get two-thirds? If we divide the four out of both the numerator and denominator, we would end up with two over three. If you left this, let's say we were taking a quiz, and in your nerves and you're rushing, you left this at 812s, I would not mark it wrong. I might write a note to you that it should probably be reduced, but they are equal to each other, right? Okay, 